Ooh, awkward. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 awkward Wendy Williams moments. Kylie will be an aunt slash stepmother to, um, to um, King Cairo. And, um, and, and then. For this list, we'll be looking at the most unsettlingly cringy, specific and recurring moments from the Wendy Williams show and ranking them based on how hard they are to watch. I know, I mean, right we've, we've all lived, but you're living live on TV. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Number 10, don't touch the mic. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Broadcasting 101, Northeastern <laughs> University, never lose control of your microphone. If there's one rule on the Wendy Williams show, it's that you absolutely do not touch the microphone. The case of Wendy's microphone has become a bit of a running joke throughout the years, as Wendy often scolds anyone who tries to touch it during an interview. She'll typically draw it away from anyone else's grasp, give them a disappointed look, and verbally berate them in front of the audience. She'll also accuse mic grabbers of not being true fans of the show because if they were, they would know not to touch the mic. I uh uh. <laughs> First time customer, I say. It's all done in good fun, of course, but it's also a little cringy seeing it be done time and time again. I'm your biggest fan. Where are you? And I'm not touching your microphone. No! <laughs> Number nine, Ms. Melody passed away. These are grown women. Uh with millions at their fingertips. Back in October 2018, Williams discussed a then-new feud between Cardi B and Nicki Minaj on her show. You know what I think? I don't even want them to do a collabo song together. You know what they need to do? Go on tour. During the monologue, she proclaims that they should go on tour with the likes of Remy Ma and Ms. Melody, an MC who was associated with the 80s hip-hop group Boogie Down Productions. Unfortunately, Ms. Melody passed away in 2012 at the age of 43. Wendy Williams clearly did not know this. She is subsequently told by a producer and responds with a simple, aww, before moving on with her hypothetical tour lineup. Uh, Miss Melody may have passed away, I think. She, oh, she passed away? Oh. Aww. Mm. All right, MC Light. <laughs> Number eight, Family Dynamics. If the show goes away, Fine, you had nine years on TV. Now go count your money and count your blessings. Wendy Williams loves talking about the Kardashian family. It also seems like she can't keep up with the complicated family tree. In order to explain the family relations, Wendy brings out the Kardashian breakdown board. So if Rob and China become engaged, then they will be, um, she explains that if Rob and Black China got married and if Kylie and Tyga got married, then that would make Rob and Tyga in-laws. Not only that, but Kylie Jenner would both be an aunt and a stepmother to King Cairo, who is Black China and Tyga's child. It's enough to cause Wendy to stumble over her words and throw a pointer down in frustration. And, and then. <laughs> Number seven, the Drea Michelle interview. From Basketball Wives LA, please welcome a live hot topic, Drea Michelle. When it comes to awkward celebrity interviews, nothing beats the once concerning Drea Michelle. Michelle came to prominence in the early 2010s by starring in the VH1 reality series Basketball Wives LA. It's made abundantly clear that Williams doesn't much care for Michelle or her accomplishments because she is horribly disrespectful throughout the entire interview. How many basketball players have you been with? I know that's, I know that's, if you don't watch the show, that seems like Wendy, you're crazy, but she's been, she, this girl has gotten around, and I appreciate you being honest about it. She brings up some awkward and personal questions, says really inappropriate things to the audience like this girl has gotten around, and brings up wild rumors that Michelle has to awkwardly shut down. We expect our talk shows to be a little bit more professional than this. There were words on the show that you had been with three basketball players in one night, like passed around. Yeah, no, like I would, I, you know, I would have millions like by now you know if i was doing crazy wild stuff like that number six an older spirit here's a tip if someone tells you their age never say that they look older during a question and answer segment a woman named jasmine approaches wendy and tells her that she is 31 years old her problem is that she is constantly approached by older men this doesn't seem to surprise wendy who tells jasmine that she has an older spirit and that she would not have guessed 31 in other words, Jasmine looks way older than 31. They you have an older up. spirit. Yes. Okay, let me answer, please. I, I would not have guessed 31. That's not something you tell people, even if they're lying about their age. All Jasmine can do is laugh in embarrassment and claim that yes, she is in fact 31. 
Yeesh. You know, you're 31. Get out here and have fun. Okay, yes. very good. Yes, yes. very good. Yes. 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 You never know. Number five, mispronouncing Dua Lipa. While talking about the 2018 Billboard Music Awards, Williams hilariously mispronounces Dua Lipa's name as Dula Peep. What, what do you think about Dula Peep? Dua, Dua Lipa. <laughs> Dua Lipa. Uh, Lloyd? Dua Lipa, I'm digging this and I'll tell you why. If you run a syndicated talk show, you should probably know how to pronounce the names of celebrities, especially celebrities as big as Dua Lipa. Yes, the mispronunciation was pretty funny, but it's also more than a little unprofessional. We'd understand if Dua Lipa is some up-and-coming SoundCloud artist that only the kids were talking about. But come on, this is Dua Lipa. I'm I didn't like it for the billboard. Yeah. I don't like it. I like it for ladies who lunch or something. She's had huge songs like New Rules and One Kiss. Shirley Williams, a woman who often covers pop culture, has heard her name in passing. Did you see all the surgery there last night? Oh my yeah. God. Police! Well, that's a big you can't even talk about now. these girls behind their back anymore because their ears are there. Number four, singing along with Fergie. Please welcome to our show, Fergie! On October 2017, Wendy had Fergie on the show to talk about things like motherhood, her upcoming album, and her time with the iconic Black Eyed Peas. No disrespect to the Peas, but I had never heard of them until for Galicious entered the picture. Mm -hmm. And you were just this amazing girl with a whole bunch of rhythm, but you weren't trying hard to appropriate a culture. You were just doing your thing. <laughs> and during one commercial break, Fergie gets together with Williams for a little sing-along. Well, we use that term very loosely. While Fergie is lip-syncing the lyrics to her hit song, Glamorous, Williams sort of moves around looking confused and maybe a little panicked. She clearly does not know the words, and despite her best efforts, simply mouthing glamorous a bunch of times is not enough to convince us. You're so I'm, much fun. Please only pick the good show. <laughs> You're so fun. Number three, dancing with Kiki Palmer. She got me speechless. That never happened. While visiting the Wendy Williams show to talk and also promote her album, R&B artist Kiki Palmer decided to teach Williams some dance moves. They proceeded through a rather awkward dance tutorial, and following that, they danced to Palmer's song, Dance Alone. Or rather, they attempt to dance. So you wanna start on the, the dance? Yeah. Fine. All right, okay. what's the first thing that we do? Okay, the first thing is just like this. Your hands come like that, and your foot just comes right in front. Just like, yep, and then back in place. Williams just cannot get the hang of the moves, or the pacing, so they have to awkwardly stop the music and start again. We don't expect Williams to be an amazing hoofer or anything, but this is one instance where the guest really should have danced alone. It's my girl, everybody! Kiki Palmer, thank you so much for oh stopping me. Number two, awkward and super personal audience question. As we've already seen from this list, Wendy Williams isn't exactly the greatest when it comes to audience interaction. In the middle of a monologue, Williams randomly asks the women in the audience to clap if they've ever been pregnant without knowing the baby's father. Has anyone in the audience ever been pregnant and not known who the father was? Clap. <laughs> unsurprisingly, no one claps. Also unsurprisingly, the question is met with audible groans from the audience, and you can even spot some people awkwardly looking around, laughing in embarrassment, and even rolling their eyes. This isn't really the type of question you ask an audience, and the audience rightfully is not having it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, turn your phone off now. A cell phone interruption is an issue that all hosts, performers, and public speakers commonly deal with. And these professionals deal with the problem in different ways. The question is, should the host have talked about it? My answer is yes. <laughs> of course. Wendy Williams went with a bizarre mixture of rudeness and politeness that had her audience confused. Somebody phone on? Yeah. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Let's turn that phone off now. She initially yells at the person to get out, and while the audience laughs at first, they soon grow incredibly silent when they realize that Williams is serious. As further contemplation and some disapproving O's from the audience, Williams changes tactics and goes the polite route. It is a confounding roller coaster of emotions, and it all goes down in 30 wacky and incredibly awkward seconds. I was being overdramatic, but kindly please turn your phone off. <laughs> Thank you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.